What's up, y'all? Just wanted to jump on and make this video really quick on the best way to automate your Google review requests in Go High Level. We're gonna create an automation that weeds out the one through three star reviews and only keeps the four and five star reviews from our clients. This is a great way to get more positive Google reviews and ultimately help your website rank higher and allow people to find you more easily on Google Maps. As always, guys, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll keep giving you guys more free content just like this video. All right, guys, so we're just jumping right into the automation here. We have our trigger events. The first one is a contact is tagged or we can have a pipeline stage changed. And so ultimately, these are both going to be when somebody purchases our products or services. And so this one right here, contact tagged, we just have this onboarded tag. That's the tag that I use when I know I've sold a client and I've onboarded them for my services. And so that's the tag that I'm using here. Always make sure to add a filter just like this one right here and specify the specific tag that you're planning on using um, to trigger off this automation. And then the other trigger event is this pipeline stage changed. So for this one, we've got two filters here. The first one is in pipeline and then SaaS clients. That's the pipeline that I use for my business. And then the pipeline stage is paying clients. So anytime somebody moves to that paying client stage, so I can either drag and drop them to that stage in the opportunities tab, or I can tag them with the onboarded tag. So either way, it'll send the person through this automation. And ultimately, either way, whichever trigger event happens, it's gonna send the person through the pipeline and it's somebody who's paid for my products or services. And so the first step in this automation is wait one day. We've got this step that just waits one day so that when we trigger off this automation with a tag or moving them to the right pipeline stage, like the buying client stage or the paid client stage, it won't send the automation out right away because we don't wanna send this review request on day one, like the same day that they bought. We wanna wait at least like 24 hours to give them some time to like settle in and use the software or our services. And so we're gonna send it one day later, um, which is this text right here. So we don't actually send them the review request on the first text. So this is the way we're gonna weed out the bad reviews, like the one through three star reviews. We don't wanna put those on Google, but we do wanna keep the four and five star reviews. So what we're gonna say in this text message is, hey, John, this is Jasper with Advanced. Just wanted to ask you if you'd be willing to rate us one through five on our service provided. Um, how many stars would you give us? So something like this that tries to get somebody to send us back just a number. All, all we need is one, two, three, four, or five. And then we wait two days after this text. We give them two days to respond to this message. If they don't respond within two days, we have a follow-up text message sending them basically the same thing with slightly different wording, just asking us what they would rate us one through five stars. But if they do text us back within the first two days, it'll go down this left branch here. And uh, we have this condition right here. So we've got one through three stars, which is this condition over here on the left. Um, so if they type anything one, two, three, or if they spell it out one, two, or three, it'll go down that branch over far left. And then if they leave us a four or five star review, so if they type us back four, five, um, or type it out four or five, then it'll go down this four or five branch right here. And so they could even say something else in the message, but as long as the message contains one of these numbers um, from both of these conditions right here, then it'll go down the right correct branch. And so for our one through three star branch right here, we have a text message that says, you know, thank you for your review. We will pass this on to our team and we just leave it there. We don't really do anything with that because we don't want this person to leave us a bad review on Google. And then if they leave us a four or five star review, that's when we actually send them the review request. Um, and so we send that through text message Email review requests never work. They just get lost, people delete them. So we wanna make sure to do text because it actually will get to their phone and text has like a 99.9% .9 open rate. And so uh, we're gonna send them that review request. Um, you can customize this review request under the reputation tab in the settings. You can choose what you wanna say in this review request message and you can customize it on text and on email. But for this case, we're doing an SMS review request. And so basically, the review request that I've written out that I have typed out says something like, awesome, thank you for your review. Um, if you'd be so kind to leave us a Google review, um, you can do so at this link right here. So they've already shown us some positive sentiment. They've already showed us that they would rate us like four or five stars. And so they're way more likely to actually leave the Google review once we send that to them. Um, and then down here on this right branch, if they don't respond, we have that follow-up text message. We're waiting two days again. So we're basically just repeating what happens up here. Um, within two days, if they respond, it goes down the one through three branch. You know, sorry to hear it, text message, or, you know, we'll show this to our team, whatever you want to call it. And if they leave us the four or five star review, we again send them that review request. 
And then if they don't reply within two days, we could have another follow-up text and say, you know, hey, John, this is Jasper again with Advance. Just wanted to follow up again and see if you'd be so kind to rate us one through five on our services provided. What number would you rate our service? And so really we're just kind of repeating this over and over again. And so if you wanted to keep hitting them up day after day, I only did like two days in a row on this one. Um, but if you wanted to keep going, you could just copy from here um, and hit uh, copy and then copy all actions from here. Then you could paste it down here. So it'll be like an infinite loop. It'll just keep texting them day after day until finally they respond back with like one through five and they just text us, you know, five or whatever. And then finally it'll send that review request to them where they can hopefully leave us a Google review. This is one of the best ways to get Google reviews from your clients and uh, make sure that the bad reviews don't show up on Google. You guys are only getting the cream of the crop, the best reviews out there. All right, guys, so that was our short and sweet video on getting the best Google reviews from your clients. You can use this for yourself and your business, or you can use this for all of your Go High Level clients that are in sub accounts in your agency account. And uh, it's just a really good way to make sure that those one through three star reviews aren't showing up on your Google. You really don't wanna see those ones on there because it can actually hurt your SEO. And so if you have all four and five star reviews, that's gonna help your website rank higher. And when people type up, you know, plumbers near me on Google, yours will be one of the first to pop up because you'll have a ton of positive Google reviews. And if you're new to the whole Go High Level world, I understand I was once in your shoes. I actually give free one-on-one -on -one help to people who sign up with my 30-day free trial link down below this video. You get 30 days for free. I can help you one-on-one, -on -one, jump on as many calls as you need, and just make sure you're set up for success with Go High Level and starting your own agency with it. Other than that, guys, I appreciate y'all sticking through to the end of this video. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.